feel as if this man's head was chopped off. Playful spirits, ghostly apparitions and murder await the most haunted team as we travel to Argyle. <laughs> Fielding, and this week I brought my team to a place full of mystery, death, and ghosts. Welcome to Most Haunted and to Inverary Castle. Inverary Castle has been the seat of the Dukes of Argyle since the beginning of the 15th century. Burnt down by the Marquis of Montrose in 1644, the castle which now stands on the site was completed in 1789 and is the third to be built here. An impressive armoury within the castle holds over 1,300 pieces, including pikes, shields and ancient guns from battles past, while the emblems of the different Campbell families tower above. There are many eyewitness accounts of paranormal occurrences throughout the castle, but there are many more stories. In 1644, the Duke of Argyll was driven from the castle. As he departed, his harpist, who had been caught spying on the lady of the house, was left behind. Some believe for this he was later hanged. Others, however, believe he was killed in the dead of night whilst he slept. Whatever the method of his demise, his tormented ghost is said to wander the castle wearing his Campbell tartan. As well as appearing to many staff and guests alike, he's been heard playing his harp every day here in the library. But it's not only the murdered musician that haunts this room, as a particularly nasty poltergeist likes to throw books around when darkness descends. This is the MacArthur Room, home to this large, elaborately carved bed that some believe were the scene of the harpist's gruesome murder. He's been seen lying on it and wandering around the room. Although many have witnessed him, he's more likely to appear to women than men. Just about everywhere you go in this place, whether in the grounds or within the walls, you can't escape the ghost stories, and the corridors and walkways are no exception. A grey lady is said to wander these long passageways, but who she is or why she haunts, no one knows. The ghost of a young woman who was thought to have been murdered by a fearsome Jacobite soldier is also seen floating around the castle. Some believe she is running from her attacker in a vain attempt to escape her destiny. What more can Most Haunted's resident historian Leslie Smith tell us about the centuries of murderous history at Inverary Castle? In the mid-1400s, Inverary became the place where the Campbell clan decided to set up head office. Here we have a beautiful castle that was built, and no wonder, we're on the banks of the sublime Loch Fyne, surrounded by mountains and wonderful forests. This is a place where kings and queens are visited. In 1562, one queen in particular, Mary, Queen of the Scots, came. I know that this castle has many ghost stories associated with it. It has a fine history of ghosts, and some of them are very extraordinary, going right the way back in time. I wasn't terribly aware of any ghosts or things of that nature till I came to work here about 13 or 14 years ago as a guide, and then latterly as head guide. And 
In this room particularly, the one in which we are at present, there's a, a grim story of a young boy, really, a teenager, who was murdered in about 1644 or 45. His ghost still haunts this castle to this day, and I've known people coming into this room who sit, oh, no, we're not coming in here, and we'll go straight back out that door. They just could feel something. One eminent doctor in the 1700s looked up into the sky and with others and saw a great battle played out in the heavens. That's been seen and heard, the battle in the heavens, above Inverary Castle, more than once. This castle has suffered great fire, twice in fact, and one fairly recently. And some people say that you can still hear and smell fire when there is no fire. There you are, you know, there's just this feeling that, all right, there is a life hereafter. It's quite, I mean, there's no question of it. With a history of eyewitness reports stretching back hundreds of years, comparapsychologist Dr. Kieran O'Keefe shed a more scientific light on the supposed paranormal activity. Well, Kieran, here we are at another castle. We've been to so many of them over the years. Why do you think this one would be any different uh, from all the others that we've investigated? We have been to so many, but there are also so many left in the country to do. And here we are, like you said, at another castle, but. It's the stories, it's the eyewitness accounts that have brought us here. One place in the castle absolutely intrigues me. It's the library. There's just something so beautiful about it, so settling, and I hope that we catch some sort of phenomena in that particular room. You don't need to convince me that a library is a welcoming oh, yeah. place. I love libraries. Mm. But here we've got a library where there is some physical phenomena reported. We do have phenomena associated with the books moving in that particular room. But in addition to that, there is a particular emotion associated with the library. There's a story about a spirit that's meant to evoke a particular emotion. Mm -hmm. And I'm not going to say what it is. Oh, go on. No, I'd like to see <laughs> what happens tonight and if it affects anybody in particular or, or the group as a whole. All I'll say is it's unusual. OK, what about the rest of the castle? There are certainly some very fascinating stories. There's a beautiful four-poster bed where supposedly somebody died. Yes, but then again, we're basing a lot of the phenomena and um, people reacting to this bed on this story that somebody has died on it. We need to use the word allegedly died on it. So I'm being a bit, bit sceptical about that particular story. So overall, what do you think is going to happen this evening in, in Inverary Castle? I think, as with any castle, perhaps we'll get corner of the eye phenomena, and there have been the odd apparition reported. Maybe we'll even get uh, headaches and some sort of physical reactions to the environment. I think it's very important that tonight you focus the entire or the majority of the investigation on the library because it's such an unusual place. Do as much as you can in the library, and let's see if we can capture some phenomena there. A seemingly peaceful place, a mysterious past and a hint of murderous intent. Inverary Castle has much to offer, but will we meet any of its ghostly residents tonight? <laughs> oh, Yvette, I saw it. Brilliant. I saw it. Welcome back to Most Haunted. You rejoin us in an investigation into Argyle's Inverary Castle, a location abundant with mystery and intrigue. I'm hoping medium Chris Conway will be able to contact the spirits believed to dwell here, unable to leave the centuries-old stone walls, as we begin our lit walk around in the library. I'm getting excited. What a beautiful room. It's amazing, isn't it? There's balconies there and everything. I love old books. Yep, it's you can just get a fabulous smell. Mm -hmm. You can smell them as soon yeah. as you walk in the room. Was this room always a library, do you think? I don't pick it up as a library. No? But I'm picking it up very much like somebody's private quarters. It's definitely 
private quarters. Mm -hmm. I'm getting a name through. Oh, the good. name, the name I'm getting through. It's it's the name Fraser. Mm -hmm. As soon as I walked into this room, the name Fraser. Okay. Not sure yet whether it's Fraser something or something Fraser, okay. but I'm getting the name Fraser, and this would be quite an, this would be an important man. I think oh. somebody sitting here late at night, what they would hear, it wouldn't be so much down here. It'd be up here. And, so the, and it'd, be, it'd be like the floorboards creaking. Oh. And that's what, they would, that's what they would hear. But you'll also hear the books moving oh, very gently, okay. and you'll hear it if you're sitting in here at night. But, and you'll also hear the... Yeah, I heard that. It's just... A... Matt, come here. Stick the thing. It sounded like it was right by your feet. Came from there, yeah. Is your name Fraser? Okay. Are you happy for us to be here? Yes. Okay. Did you own this place? Did you conduct business? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes, I feel that he would visit the, 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 the people who did own the place at that time. And Fraser would be the one that, that would be up here. Moving the books. Yes, moving books about. It's moving, it's definitely hearing the, the banging and everything. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's upstairs. You can hear it from here. I think we should move on. This is such a huge place. Let's just go to. Wow. Thank you, Fraser. Thank you very much. Will you please accompany us, perhaps, on our walk around the castle? Thank you. We'll be very pleased for your company. Investigated castles, I've always thought, ooh, a little bit creepy. Yeah. This is the first castle in all the years that we've been doing Most Haunted that I would happily live in. Oh, definitely. For Beautiful. me, it has the most fabulous feel to it. Mm -hmm. Are you picking up on anything negative or is it all just really I, good? I'll be honest with you, so far there's been nothing negative at all. Okay. It's a, the full castle. Should this, we go through here? Yes. Here? Yeah, after yeah, you. Okay. What do you sense as you come into to this room? Sense anyone in particular? I tell you what I do sense. Yeah. It's very much as if you've just walked into a royal, a royal bedroom or, or a royal. Listen to this. You hear that? Mm -hmm. It's behind. It's almost behind you where Carl is now. Yeah. It's literally just going past Kath behind me, and it's, it's when you're talking about the, the royal thing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Um, is this the princess? Yes. Okay. okay. Was this your bedroom? It's doing the same thing. Does that happen? Are you saying that you are happy here? Blimey, very yeah. happy. Okay, it's yeah, okay. Was this your chamber? Okay. So okay. we have a princess. This yes. was her chamber or her bedroom, okay. and she loved it here. Yes. Any idea of her first name? I'm very much wanting to say Louise, Louisa, or Louise. Okay. okay. I don't know if Louise is her name, but Louise is definitely. It's been mentioned okay. to me. Louise, is is this your first know. name? Nothing. The, the royal. You're person getting two knocks. Up. Two knocks. Can I just confirm? Is your name Louise? Was there a Louise in the house at the time? Yes. yes. Okay. She's shown me her face, okay? Oh, okay. And okay. brown hair, light brown hair, okay? And it's down past her back, okay? And that's what she's shown me just now. Long hair. Okay, long, long, brown long hair. hair. Quite wavy. It's not straight, straight hair. Okay. It's quite wavy hair. Yeah. Okay. I don't think she realises we're here. Um, for trying to get paranormal activity, but she does realise we're here visiting. Okay. And I think that pleases her. Okay. The fact that she's got it's all these visitors. visitors, yeah. Okay. Are you happy for us to try and talk to you some more, Your Majesty, this evening? Yes. Okay, that's that's good for me. Yeah. Let's move on okay. to this next room. Again. We're getting the same feeling as we were getting through there. It's very much a royal feeling. It again. is. Oh, is it? And so yes. another room. I mean, look at this bed. I mean, it's absolutely beautiful. I don't know if it's original to the house. I would very much say that this would be the, the original bed. Okay. It's sharing the same the, the same energy as the room, which mm -hmm. makes me think it could possibly be 
more than likely the bed that's and been in this room. The person that would have been in this chamber or this mm -hmm. room and the bed would have been female or male? I'm picking up I'm picking up female. Okay, okay. another female. I'm picking up female. Not the same, not the princess. It's the same feeling, to oh, be it honest is? with you. It's, it's, it's the same feeling, yeah. It's very much the same feeling. Oh, OK. Mm -hmm. Well, I, what <clears throat> do you suggest? Do you think that we would get more activity? So the library, um, around the stair area or in I these rooms? <clears throat> most certainly the library, but I think... I don't know if we'd be allowed to, but I think if somebody was on the bed, they would feel a lot of activity. Well, let's just bring Leslie in now. Leslie? Yeah. Some very, uh, it's a beautiful place, isn't it? I'm just beside myself. <laughs> it's just too gorgeous. I know. Just too gorgeous. So how are we doing with Frasier um, down in the library and then this princess connection? Um, Frasier, I'm pretty sure I know who that is. There is a, a strong tradition here of a harpist who was supposed to have been murdered here. Okay. And he is in the library a great deal. Well, mm -hmm. we haven't got his name, but it's a good name, uh, yes. Fraser. So, you know, yeah. I'm quite happy with that. And the mm -hmm. things you were saying about that suggest it is indeed the harpist. Okay. What particularly interests me is what you just said about Louise. I've been jumping about. You haven't seen me. I've been hiding my excitement <laughs> elsewhere. Uh, Louise was the fourth daughter of Queen Victoria. Oh, really? And she was, of course, the Princess Louise. She wasn't very tall. She had wavy brown hair. Oh, really? And she was the Duchess of Argyle. Wow. This was her pad. Oh, Fantastic. Excellent. Well, let's take all the lights down. Yes. Let's get cracking. Somebody's going to lie on this bed and definitely. maybe do a seance or something in the, in the library. I think, I think the gonna... library would be fantastic. Definitely. Seance, the library's yeah. a real hot spot, may I tell you, traditionally. Yes. But I'm not telling you anymore. Yes. OK, let's go this way. Brilliant. With Leslie able to confirm much of the information given by Chris during the lit walk around and the suggestion that it is indeed the murdered harpist who is responsible for some of the alleged spiritual activity. It's time to turn off the lights. What awaits us in the dark of this most haunted of locations? I feel as if this man's head was chopped off. Right, I'm hearing a dragging sound and I'm hearing whining. Hello? Shelter. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Help! I saw it! Really? I saw it! Already, the MacArthur Room seems to be a hotbed of spiritual activity, with a possible murder taking place here and the contrasting presence of a playful princess. I decide to hold our first night vision vigil here, with Chris, Carl and Stuart joining me. Watching events from the hub are Kath, Leslie and cameraman Chris Burton. Princess, can you please do something? Princess Louise? Did you hear that then? Yeah. Well, there's also a story of someone being murdered on that bed. Are you here? Is this Princess Louise? Well, who are you then? Please make yourself known to me. Um, camera four, which is I think the McCarthy bedroom, isn't it, is misting up. Thanks, Les. That's. What's the matter, though? Anybody here? Please, can you do something in this room? I've got a male presence in here now. Okay. He's actually making my throat. It's very much. Is this 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 guy's died? And it, it's to do with his neck. Ah. How this guy's died. I feel as if this man's head was chopped off. Archibald. Archibald, okay. okay. Are you here, Archibald? If it's you, please knock twice. I heard some very faint then. Well, Were you beheaded? 
I've been really sick now. Were you beheaded? Stop moving. Were you murdered? Your face changed then for a sec. What's he out, Chris? Sorry. It's all right. <laughs> I was a bit scared there when I looked at it. I thought, that's not Chris, that's somebody else. Should we move into another room, Carl? Yes. Yeah. yes. If there's anybody here, if there's a spirit person with us now, please can you tap twice? Princess Louise, Louise is here. Princess, please, may I ask, could you... Did you hear that? What? What? That was a definite... Mm. Was it? Princess, please, may I ask, could you... Did you hear that? Princess, please, may I ask, could you... Did you hear that? Where did it come from? It's sort of here. I mean, there's a point I'd like to say, it was yes. almost from the other room, but... It, 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 I was saying here because it was a nice sound, oh, it wasn't a... Please come show yourself to us. More subjects. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? There's something behind us. Did you hear that? Yeah. Very quiet, isn't it? It's been very, very quiet. Let's go down to the library. Yeah. Okay, let's do that. Leslie, yeah, it's Carl. Hi, Carl. We've got activity in the river, in actually. We've got tapping and walking around behind us. Um, it's really interesting. Is there something standing watching us, what, watching the monitors? We've, we've had some great tappings, but we think that the energy is starting to build up for something fairly huge. <gasps> Fantastic. Let's go downstairs, shall we? With Carl's insistence that the energy within the castle is building, will we encounter any of the supposed spectres as we widen our search of this magnificent yet terrifying castle? There's the tap, the tapping big stuff around them. Help. What was that? Go to the stairs! This is incredible. Oh my God. Having such a bit of fun with us. The investigation of Argyle's Inverary Castle has so far revealed disturbing and intriguing results as it has shown both its light and dark sides. Medium Chris Conway sensed a possible murder and we were followed by audible phenomena seemingly caused by the ghost of a playful princess. With these two contrasting atmospheres filling the castle, I decide that Leslie, Kath and cameraman Chris Burton should continue to monitor the rest of the location, while Carl, Stuart, Chris and myself head to the library, a place that Kieran had earlier suggested be the focus of our energies. Please, Can you please make a noise? What's up, Bubbles? Can you move one of the books? Or squeak the floorboards? From above? What's that? Could you perhaps take a book off the shelves for us? I know you've done it in the past, Fraser. Please. It's getting very cold in here. Yeah, okay. it is. I'm just walking up here to me walk in and walk with me. Okay. Fraser, this is your opportunity. Fraser, are you here? Fraser, are you here? He is here. He's definitely here. Can you see him? He's up beside Carl. Is he? Yeah. I was knocking up here very I can hear that. Yeah, I can yeah. hear that. 
That's every time my vet speaks. He seems to like you a bit. Fraser, please, please help us. Not your car, maybe. No, the car's down there. Did you hear that then? That came from the opposite side yeah, from where car freaking. lives. Thank you, Fraser. Fraser. That's what that's what we do quite it's, often. Yeah, it's, thank you. It's, it's creaked the floorboards when he's up there. Is there any way, please, that you could move something in this room? Can you? Is he talk? Can you hear him talking, Chris? Is he saying anything in response to anything I'm saying? He's he's not speaking back, but he's up to say, Carl. He's <laughs> Where did that come from? Fantastic. I have no idea. It's cold, it's not warm. <laughs> Poetical tragedies. Wilford Campbell. Of Wilford Campbell. It's a signed edition. It's a signed edition. Wow. That made me jump. Fraser, thank you so very much. Did you did you like my reaction? Two for yes, one for no. <laughs> Did it make you laugh? <laughs> do you want to do it again? It's freezing cold up Is here. It? Absolutely freezing cold. Fraser, do it again. Go on. Please. Yes. You seem to like a bit, Fraser. Oh, all right. Oh, oh, how nice. Oh, how lovely. You're the only one he's reacting to. Is there any way, Fraser, you could... Um, just gently throw another book or perhaps a coin or something of, of yours that you could throw down to us? I've heard almost like books be, being pulled out. Really? And I've just come up, I, I thought it was here, but it just seems to be wood there. But then I went here and it's, it's, it's absolutely freezing cold here now. But it's like books were being pulled out, but I can't. That's, that's his party trick. Yeah. Well, Maybe whoever comes here next time, perhaps Fraser, you could give them. What the? Where did that come from? That's a piece of wood or something. No, it's a book. It's a table book. It's, it's Spanish or French, whatever it is. It's a, it's a book. Blessing. Blessing. Blessing of Saint Francis. May the Lord bless thee and keep thee. May he show his face to thee and have mercy on thee. May he turn his countenance towards thee and give thee his peace. May the Lord bless thee. Oh. That's to you. Do you think? Mm -hmm. Fraser, can I just ask you to tap again? The blessings that are in this book, was that meant for me? Fraser, thank you so much. You make me want to cry. <laughs> oh, that's such a lovely thing. Well, may God bless you. It seems we have contacted a friendly and playful spirit who Chris has named Fraser. So I decide to send Kath, Leslie and cameraman Chris Burton to continue the investigation of the library. Will the ghost of Fraser once again come out to tease the most haunted team? Right, when we were setting up, um, doing your vet's opening pieces, in that corner there, um, there were loads of taps, <coughs> loads of taps, um, and not just me experienced it, several other, other, of the others did. So I, I reckon we're standing in that corner there. Okay. Um. <gasps> what was that? They're, they're tap, there's tapping big stuff around them. <laughs> Freeze. No. <laughs> <laughs> strange. Right, come on, Sam. Two torches off. Let's get going. Torches are off. Should we go up there? What was the balcony? Yeah. Yeah, sure. Let's go. Kath? Careful, it's low. It's a low balcony thing. There's some very precious books and things here, so.
Help. What was that? No, seriously. No, seriously? <gasps> something's been thrown. Kath, no. did you knock something? No, no something's been thrown. I'm, I'm really intrigued to check if there's something landed on the floor. There is a book. I've got it. Look here, here. Oh. Little tiny book. Come on, come on, come on, see, come on. See. Kathy, come on, are you going first or last? No, I'll go first, I'll go first. Just get down with you. I don't really want to now. Oh, Stop it. Chris, me. Chris. No, please. Oh, no. There's no what. I like who? There's a shadow. Look, 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 when you put the torch across. Can we get off the stairs? Just come on, let's go. Okay. Right, I'm going to look at this book. Just have a good look at it. I'll see what it is. Right, have a look. Just be a bit careful with it. It is. It's an Italian. Look what it is. What? It's a divine comedy. And we've been hysterical and laughing. <gasps> this is incredible. Oh my God. having such a bit of fun with us. As the playful spirit of Fraser has decided to intrigue the most haunted team with entertaining poltergeist activity, I'm eager to further the investigation of the library and decide that a seance may incite more phenomena from this playful spirit. So here we are back in the library. Uh, we're just setting up for a seance. Uh, this is the um, second book that landed with the blessing inside that I read out. And as we were leaving, we put the second book here. Leslie and the gang came in. They then experienced a book um, uh, flying through the air, but it was this same book. So it must have come off this table and landed by the bookshelf. <laughs> Well, Yvette, oh. I saw it. Brilliant! I saw it. What? what? You mean saw what? I saw the book. Oh, what book? What flying through? Yes. The good. There's, no, there's, there's nothing up there whatsoever. I've got it. Come on, then let's get cracking while the energy's good. Ready? Join your hands. Right. Join your hands. Is there something personal you could throw to us? Something like a coin or a handkerchief or something like that. <laughs> can you hear anybody or can you sense no, it? No, I just feel it laughing. Just... <laughs> don't you ever be like it all night? No, I Isn't it strange when when um uh Isn't it strange when we laugh? It's it's probably like burning. Hey! Hey! The drawers just opened! The drawers just opened! Oh my god! The drawers just opened on its own! Oh I love it! This man, he's amazing! Oh how funny! You are brilliant! Yes, can you imagine trying to work in here? Oh, gosh. Oh. <laughs> well, i tell you what, it's just the most remarkable experience, isn't it? Can I... <laughs> that time we had some happy ghosts. Oh, yeah, yeah it is. I'm going to stop. <laughs> right. right. Are we ready to... Are we ready? Are we... The drawer's just oh, popped oh, out. I've actually got it on camera. It's oh, coming out again. Wow. I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> are we ready to... Are we ready? Are we... The drawer's just oh, popped oh, out. I've actually got it on camera. It's oh, coming out again. Wow. I've got it, I've got it, I've got it on Brilliant. camera. Thank you so much. You are an amazing man. Please and thank up. you so, so very much for everything you've done for us tonight. God thank bless you, God darling. bless you, Fraser. Thank, thank you. you. And thank wherever you. you are, I hope that's where I end up. Yes. All the world, so. In an unusual turn of events for the Most Haunted team, we are faced with the possibility that this spirit is in fact benevolent and eager to have fun with us. But is the night about to take a chilling turn towards the terrifying? Hello? Oh, crying out loud. Oh, what the was that? Right, I'm hearing a dragging sound and I'm hearing whining. OK, now I'll get freaked. I'm going to go. I can't do this. That's me done. to Most Haunted. Our exploration of Inverary Castle has seen the team enjoy the company of a friendly ghost named Fraser, who decided to entertain us with parlour tricks. 
Keen to change the focus of our investigation, I decide to send Carl back to the MacArthur room in search of something more malevolent. What will he discover as the investigation draws to a sinister end? I've come up to the uh, MacArthur room and um, this is where the, uh, um, some people think that the harpist was um, on this bed could have been killed if indeed he wasn't killed downstairs. And oh, crying out loud. Hello? Who's in that room? Well, what was in my head? Okay, from there. Are you here? Oh, what's that? Every room I'm in, it's in the other room. What's in here? Okay. Ah. Crumbs, what's that sound? Hello? Ooh. Okay, now I'm getting freaked. Right, I'm hearing a dragging sound and I'm hearing whining. Hello? I think it's coming from the bed. It's Grace said that we were allowed to sit on the bed. And um, I'm, I'm gonna sit on the bed. In fact, I'm gonna lie on the bed because he said we were allowed to. Um, the one thing, this is where the harpist was supposed to have um, met his end. And the problem is, is crying out loud. Now the bed just moved. Can you move this bed again? I'm lying on top of the bed. If you're the harpist, please move this bed again. Hang on. Something's moving over here. Hang on. Okay, okay, I'm going to go right back here. Right. Okay. You'll be able to see the bed. Hang on, see the bed move from there. Thank you for that. Please move the bed once more. Shit! That's the bed's the bed's moving. The bed something's on the bed, and that's just moved. Oh shit! Oh shit! Right, I'm going to move that chair away from the bed. I'm, I'm actually shit scared to tell you the truth. I am shit scared. Now that bed would move if anyone was under it. Right, okay. I'm gonna sit this on the floor. And basically there's the bed. And nope. Just moved again. That chair just moved into me then, and I'm hearing a hissing sound from over there. Oh, I've got a headache. Are you there? If you're there in that other room. Oh, oh shit. I thought that that was a face and it wasn't a reflection on there. Okay. I'm hearing noises in this room.
It's there, it's in there. Okay. Okay. I can hear you. Hello? I'm scared. I'm sure that bed moved with me on it, and I'm sure that I've got the chair moving. Oh, what was that? Hello? There's another movement. This bed again. Oh, I can't even see the bloody bed. That was this door or this door that came from in here. It can only have been that door. Oh shit. I'm gonna go, I can't do this. That's me done. The earlier jollity during the library vigils has now been replaced in our minds by Carl's haunting journey to the dark side in the MacArthur Room, a place which seemingly holds an angry spirit eager to make its presence felt. Oh, shit! How will Dr Kieran O'Keefe make sense of all that we had experienced during our extensive search for the truth behind the spirits of Inverary Castle? On this particular investigation, most haunted investigation of Inverary Castle, I'm not going to talk about significant phenomena, I'm going to talk about a significant room, the library. During one of the vigils, uh, several members of the crew were experiencing books uh, flying apparently of their own accord. Now, because of the way the vigil was run, uh, because of the particular camera work and the, the checks that were put into place, it did appear, for all intents and purposes, as though they were being flung from upstairs, as if by unseen hands. And landed by the bookshelf. <laughs> oh! 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 Given that that area was checked and we can be assured that there was nobody there, I do find it particularly fascinating. I'd mentioned to Yvette earlier on in the day that there was a particular emotion associated with that room. And certainly it was, it was hysteria and laughter. The story being that a spirit is meant to affect people in such a way that they do start laughing hysterically. And that's what happened to the team. I'm, I'm filling my pants, but I still feel hysterical. <laughs> <laughs> Immediately after the vigil, the team exited and they were told by a member of staff that yes, indeed, a spirit does affect people in that particular way. So not only are we dealing with an unusual reaction to the location... Oh! 